Hi guys, I am Rashida Balogun and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're here for the first time, welcome to my YouTube channel, Talking Mental with RB, where I talk on all things mental health related. So on today's episode, I am going to be talking about anxiety disorders. We all experience anxiety. For example, speaking in front of a group can make us anxious, but that anxiety also motivates us to prepare and practice. Driving in heavy traffic is another common source of anxiety, but it helps keep us alert and cautious to avoid accidents. However, when feelings of intense fear and distress become overwhelming and prevent us from doing everyday activities, an anxiety disorder may be the cause. The American Psychologist Association describes a person with anxiety disorder as having recurring intrusive thoughts or concerns, and this can interfere with daily functioning. Anxiety disorders are a group of related conditions, each having unique symptoms. However, all anxiety disorders have one thing in common, persistent, excessive fear or worry in situations that are not threatening. There are many types of anxiety disorders. The most common types of anxiety disorders include Generalized Anxiety Disorder, GAD. GAD produces chronic exaggerated worrying about everyday life. This worrying can consume hours each day, making it hard to concentrate or finish daily tasks. Social Anxiety Disorder, SAD. More than shyness, this disorder causes intense fear about social interaction, often driven by irrational worries about humiliation, for example, saying something stupid or not knowing what to say in public. Panic disorder. This disorder is characterized by panic attacks and sudden feelings of terror, sometimes striking repeatedly and without warning. Often mistaken for a heart attack, a panic attack causes powerful physical symptoms, including chest pain, heart palpitation, dizziness, shortness of breath, and stomach upsets. Specific phobias. We all tend to avoid certain things or situations that make us uncomfortable or even fearful. But for someone with a phobia, certain places, events, or objects create powerful reactions of strong irrational fear. Other anxiety disorders include agoraphobia, selective mutism, separation anxiety disorder, substance medication-induced anxiety disorder, other specified anxiety disorder and unspecified anxiety disorder are terms for anxiety or phobias that don't meet the exact criteria for any other anxiety disorders but are significant enough to be distressing and disruptive. People typically experience one or more of the following symptoms like emotional symptoms which include feeling of apprehension or dread, feeling tense or jumpy, restlessness or irritability, anticipating the worst and being watchful for signs of danger. And we also have physical symptoms like pounding or raising heart and shortness of breath, sweating tremors and twitches, headaches, fatigue and insomnia, upset stomach, frequent urination and diarrhea. Scientists believe that many factors combine to cause anxiety disorders and they include Environmental stressors, such as difficulties at work, relationship problems, or family issues. We have genetics as people who have family members with an anxiety disorder are more likely to experience one themselves. We also have medical factors such as symptoms of a different disease, the effects of a medication, or the stress of an intense surgery or prolonged recovery. We also have brain chemistry as psychologists define many anxiety disorders as misalignment of hormones and electrical signals in the brain. And there is withdrawal from or misuse of an illicit substance, the effect of which might intensify the impact of other possible causes. Trauma, children who endured abuse or trauma or witnessed traumatic events are at higher risk of developing an anxiety disorder at some point in life. Stress due to an illness, having a health condition, or serious illness can cause significant worry about issues such as your treatment and your future. And last but not the least, we have personality. Because people with certain personality types are more prone to anxiety disorders than others are. Different anxiety disorders have their own distinct set of symptoms. 
This means that each type of anxiety disorder also has its own treatment plan. But there are common types of treatment that are used. We have psychotherapy, which includes CBT, that is the cognitive behavioral therapy. We have medications, which include anti-anxiety medications and antidepressants. And we also have complementary health approaches, which include stress and relaxation techniques. We've come to the end of today's episode on Talking Mental with RB. I hope this episode was enlightening and informative. Please do not forget to share this video to help spread mental health awareness. Please like this video, drop your questions and opinions in the comment section below and subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Thank you for listening, stay safe and bye.